hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another nail prep video and in this one I'm showing you guys my nail growth plus how the wear and tear for my fake nails are doing and as you guys can see that this one did crack remember I was showing you guys when I took off the polish it was cracked it was cracked before I took off the polish, but while I taking off the polish, it really cracked off. So I had to file into an oval shape, as you guys can see right here. And the pointer is done. Still okay. It's still in this um, squoval shape. And this is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much no new growth. So just slightly a little I mean you can't really see but I can feel like from where the cuticle from down from where the nail is it has a little slightly new growth but it, but as I was telling you guys like my nails do not grow for the fall and winter my nails grow really fast in the spring and summer but you do have a little new growth not a lot like you would in the spring and summer but I'm okay with it because I have my false nails on. Hey, what about that? So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And like I said, I like the clear nail, the fake nails, because you guys can see that it doesn't show like any, um, any damage is going on. No fungus, no air bubbles or anything. So, they're good for another week. And this is the third week that they're going on. And I'm so happy to because I don't have to worry about taking it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. So, yes, I'm excited about that. And this is where they're at. Yes, so I have, um, I have my scova nails. Plus, I have an oval shape. And I have, I don't know, this is pretty much like a, you know, this is an almond. See the difference between the almond and the oval? The the almond is more tapered or to the tip, which I like the, the almond shape the better, the best. But this is what it's giving me. And it's something about this middle finger right here. When I take off my polish, I always get like a little issue. Like down in the bottom. I normally don't cut my cuticles, but this is a cuticle nipper. You guys have to be really careful with that. And I don't normally cut around my cuticles, but on this nail, I might cut every now and then. Not all the time, but just a little on this nail. So on the side, it gives me a little issue. So. I just clipped that dead skin, as you guys can see right here. Be careful with using these, because if you don't know what you're doing, you can really damage your nails. And there we have it. It's just a little. You guys can see that right there. Just a little, not too much, and that is dead. So. There we have it. And I can go on with my mani. Just get a little bit more of this, this end right here. And there we go, not much. I don't cut all around it because you need that. So there we have that one. And then, of course you guys know this is the cuticle pusher. And be careful with this one too. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you can really damage your nails. And I have my buffer, my seven buffer, my seven way buffer. And in this one I'm gonna to use to, I'm gonna use number, I'm gonna do number three because I have a little ridges right here. In my thumb. And I'm gonna just buff it just slightly. So when I do apply my nail polish or my gel or whatever, it will be easier 
to to apply. I'm only going to do my thumbs. And this buffer, this is Sassy and Chic. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. And I love this one. It works really, really well. So that was number three. It's the fine grit to smooth edges on the nails. And I'm going to use number I'm going to use number five. I'm not going to do four. I'm going to do five, which is going to smooth the nail out to make it really smooth. So when I apply my polish, you won't get those ridges in my in my mani. They just look really smooth. I wish you guys can feel how smooth it is. It's crazy. I'm telling you, you can't go without one of these. I recommend one of these. Like I said, I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. Look at that. None. It's just so small. I wish you guys can feel it. Very smooth. So I'm going and do the right thumb. And I'm going to be ready for my mini for this week. And that's all I needed to do. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Yes. And then if you want to go ahead and use step number four to condition your nail. You can use that one as well. And that's number four. And the last one is the nail buffer number six. That's going to really smooth it down. And when you apply your nail polish, it's going to go on so smooth. Big difference. Big, big difference. And if you want that shine for the last step, that would be number seven to polish and shine your nails. And I'm going to use this for you guys so you guys can see the end results. So smooth. So freaking smooth. I love this buffer. I just picked this up about two weeks ago. And they had a lot of them too. I should have picked up a whole lot of them because it's so hard to find those and when you do you need to upgrade and get them I'm telling you but yeah that's my prep for this week hope you guys like it stay tuned for my do it yourself many Sunday and I will see you guys in the next one I love you love you love you love you so much and if you're new to my channel enjoy like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell i really appreciate it and i thank you guys so 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 much for watching love you peace out see you in the next one bye